G'day, Dylan here from the Byron Bay Observatory, joined with Dr. Zen. Yep. And we have some things here. Zen is about to go in for knee surgery. It's a beautiful sunny day outside, so we thought, what better thing to do than stay inside and build a gaming computer? Now, this computer will also be used for Pix Insight processing and Twitch streaming as well. So it's like a creator PC, but we're going for this white aesthetic, which became really popular about 18 months ago. And I saw an image online from Cassie, links here, to this beautiful PC she built. And I thought, that looks just like the spaceship from 2001 A Space Odyssey. And I would like that because it also doubles as a desk lamp. Now I'm from Gen X. I've built a few computers before in my time, but not for like 20 years. Uh, back in my day, we had to walk 10 miles through the snow to get a 486 chip and overclock that to Pentium speeds. And things have changed, sort of. It's almostly the same, except you Gen Z guys are obsessed with flashing lights. So I want flashing lights too. Join me on this PC build journey and then we'll test it by benchmarking it against PixInsight to see if it beats my 2019 5K iMac. My name is Dylan O'Donnell and you're watching Star Stuff.
So how does Space PC actually run? Uh, now if you've come to this video because you're a computer nerd, the build section is over. Hopefully you got something out of that and you can build this yourself with the parts list included below. Uh, now here I get into the astronomy stuff. Uh, on this channel I take photos of space. Here's one I've just finished of one of the Dragons of Ara, NGC 6188. Uh, so I go out to my observatory and I take a lot of photos of space and then I process this data using a computer. Uh, now I've been doing this on my Mac, it's a 2019 5K iMac, so it's no slouch and it has 64 gigabytes of RAM. So the first thing I did after I built this PC, besides maybe running a few games, was to benchmark this with PixInsight. Running the PixInsight benchmark tool, I can clearly see that I have a much better score using this new Windows Space PC. The Mac's scoring about a 9,000 and the Windows PC scoring a whopping 12,000. So that's a good sign, right? But that's not the whole story. The PixInsight benchmark really doesn't translate well to real world usage. And PixInsight as a program is really optimized for file system. It stores everything on the file system and RAM and swap. So it has a huge undo cache and it's really designed for processing large amounts of data. It has no GPU optimization, so the big GPU I have in this really doesn't do anything for me. Now you can hack Starnet so that it can use the neural network from NVIDIA and Starnet will run like 85% faster. If you can get it working, I haven't been able to get it working yet. So with real world testing, running Starnet on each computer at the same time, I see that the Mac actually wins uh, with a five second difference. When I go to do something even more real worldy, uh, like stacking and integration, I can see that I still have a much better performance on the Mac, which is almost twice as fast at processing these files. So what I think is going on here is that I have only 16 gigabytes of RAM in this new machine, which is good for gaming, it's fine, but when we're working with these large data sets for astronomy pictures, RAM is probably the best thing you can do to optimize. So if you are looking to build a space PC, uh, really look at file system and RAM as your two big bottlenecks for running PixInsight. Hopefully, it would be nice if PixInsight in the future optimized for big GPUs as well. That would make things a whole lot easier for the maths and the algorithms that go on in the background before it reaches the file system bottleneck. Uh, however, I don't see that on the horizon because PixInsight is designed to run on Linux and Mac and Windows and so it has to work for all of them. You can't just optimize for Windows GPUs. Overall though, I'm very happy that the computer performs this well. So I think the natural conclusion to draw from all this is that Macs are awesome and Windows has sucked like it has all along. Uh, but before I give up completely on this, uh, what I'm going to do is fill this up with as much RAM as I possibly can. I'll be putting in more storage here. I'll be finishing off with more fans along the top. Uh, although it is nice in winter, it keeps the room pretty toasty warm. And it is a pretty nice desk lamp too. Other than that, it's good to go. All, all of this is of course uh, addressable LED stuff so I can change the scene. I can change this to a sun theme or a Mars theme. It does look very pretty on the desk, I must say. And Zen really enjoyed building that PC. He's uh, doing it hard after the surgery, but hopefully he'll be back on his feet soon. Thanks for coming along for that journey. My name is Dylan O'Donnell. You've been watching Star Stuff. Remember, everything is meaningless and we're all going to die. Oh,